very good afternoon to you all ladies and gentlemen. On behalf of the chairman, CEO of Airpeace, Dr. Alan Pechuku Airman, who has made this dream like back to Nigeria possible, and the entire Airpeace family, I would like to wish you a very warm welcome and the for Airport the five hours and 30 minutes at the cruising altitude of 6,000 feet. Thank you very much for the project. Please ensure you your flight and your flight position. Operate down, train the food, window blinds open. And you'll see the belt Passengers and the exiters are kindly requested to read the notice concerning emergency exit, which states that the same pockets are sent to the exit. If you do not wish to perform any control function, please inform one of the cabin crew and we will be happy to receive you. We would like to remind all passengers that this is a non smoking flight. All security lists, lavatories are equipped with a sensitive smoking detector. It's a criminal offense to ignore such a regulation. Ladies and gentlemen, in final preparation for takeoff, please ensure that your seatbelt and infant seatbelt is securely fastened.
<laughs> this is my guy, time for you. <laughs> yeah, this today. Bro, she said, make you come. I said, I won't see Chama. I won't see, I won't treat her special. Listen, now we see the fight. Nah, so, you know, in there. Now we see the fight. Now we, now we see him. Now we see him. I beg, I beg, I beg. Thank you for me, I beg. Thank you, Nigeria. Thank you, Nigeria. Yeah. Oh, no, oh, no. Oh, no. My names are Apostle Doctor Nzenga Mashitanladi. Uh, I came to South Africa for a missionary work, and by the grace of God, uh, God has given us grace, he has given us power and ability to affect you know the citizens of South Africa. Which part of Nigeria are you from? I'm from the northern the part of Nigeria. Nasarawa State in particular. Nasarawa State. Yes, sir. Yeah. For how long have you been in South Africa? I've been in South Africa for seven years now, and the ministry I pastored uh, as the presiding apostle of the Greater Glory Manifestations Church. Are you the founder of the church, or is just the uh, mission? Uh, by the grace of God, I'm the founder of Greater Glory Manifestations Church, South Africa. So what happened to that church now that you are living? Uh, actually, the reason why I am on board is to appreciate Chief Doctor Ongeba for this great uh, kindness he has shown to the citizen of uh, his country. You know, there is an adage in English that says, what an old man can see while seated. A young man cannot see even when he's on the top of the mountain. What Onyema, Dr. Chief, has seen, it is something that the history of Nigeria, the history of South Africa and the globe can never forget it. So I'm here just to give a word of prayer and appreciation. Okay. We we'll would like to have that right now. All right. Dr. Chief Onyema, we appreciate you for this great sacrifice you have given to your countrymen and women, women and children. The Lord will bless you. Let us pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, I decree by the authority in the name that is above every name, your reigning will not expire. Your glory will never diminish. Your heights can never be tempered by manipulations and powers of darkness. You will go far. You will reign. In the name of Jesus, God will take you to the place of honor and power, place of glory, place where your voice will become the final. In the name of Jesus, no one will cut short your dream. No one will cut short your destiny. The sacrifice you have made this far for river and ever generations shall live to celebrate it in the mighty name of Jesus. May your business grow. May you experience the hand of God continually in your life in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' precious name. Amen.